Sometimes it is nice to hear the sound of the stepper motor. Right? Hey. <laughs> so why why we use stepper motor instead of a DC motor? Because DC motor is more silent than the stepper motor. Hey hello guys, this is Shubhaproto and welcome to our channel Circuitation. In today's video, you will learn what is stepper motor, how stepper motor works, how to drive a stepper motor and how you can make your own stepper motor controller. So don't skip the video, watch till the end. Let's get started. So, what is stepper motor? Stepper motor is a motor which rotates in small steps. Basically, these motors are used where precision work is required, like 3D printers, you can place machine, CNC, and for various robotics applications. This motor can be driven and brake in any desired position, which we cannot do in case of normal DC motor. In market, there are several types of stepper motor is available. But today I will tell you about how hybrid bipolar stepper motor works. This type of motor have four wires. Basically, there is two coils, and these two coils spread it through the whole body of the motor in alternative manner. I mark these four wires as A1, A2, and P1, B2. There is two coils A and B. The winding are placed in the stator part and the rotor part is made up with permanent magnets. If we energize the coil one by one, the motor will start to rotate. But there is a pattern to energize both the coils. First, you have to energize the A coil giving the positive supply to A1 and negative supply to A2 of a power supply and B coil will be de-energized. After that, we have to give the positive to B1 and negative to B2. In this case, the A coil will be de-energized. After that, we have to apply positive to A2 and negative to A1. And in the last step, we have to apply the positive to B2 and negative to B1. So if we repeat this process in a loop, the motor will start to rotate. And we have to remind one thing. we cannot energize both the oil at a time. So I have a motor which weight is around 3.6 kg having a torque of 87 kg centimeter and draws a load current of 5 ampere per phase. So I bought an appropriate driver for it. The driver will energize the coil in a pattern which I showed previously and run the motor. But to control the driver, we have to give some control inputs. At first, I will connect the enable minus, direction minus and pulse minus pin to the ground. And first, we have the enable pin. If we give a 5 volt supply to the enable pin, then the motor will disable. Uh, that means we can uh, rotate the shaft of the stepper motor by our hand and if we withdraw the supply or giving the zero volt to the enable plus terminal then the motor will lock its in own position uh, it means that the motor is enabled now and in direction plus pin if we give a 5 volt supply or logic one then the motor will rotate in clockwise direction and if we withdraw the supply or supply zero volt to the direction plus pin, then the motor will rotate in counterclockwise direction. And this is the last input for the driver, pulse input. We have to give a square wave pulse to this terminal. This motor have 1.8 degree step angle, so if we give 200 pulses, the motor will complete one revolution. So you can easily calculate for 90 degree or any position how many pulse you have to give to the driver. 
and if we increase the frequency of the square wave the motor rpm will also increase now i will make the controller for this driver so at first i use arduino nano a rotary encoder and some push switches and some leds and resistance for indication and for display i will use a 16 plus 2 lcd display with a i2c driver for the display this is the circuit diagram of my stable motor controller. The switch data and clock pin of the rotary encoder will connect to the digital pin 2, 4 and 5 of Arduino Nano. The pulse pin, enable pin and direction pin of the motor driver will connect to 6, 7 and 8 number pin of the Arduino and the driver ground will come on with the Arduino Nano ground. I use three post switches for start, stop and disable operation. The start switch of the controller will connect to the pin number 10 of Arduino Nano. The stop switch will connect to the digital pin 3 of Arduino Nano and the disable switch will connect to the digital pin 12 of Arduino Nano. I use three LEDs red, green and blue for indication purpose. I use the red LED as a power LED which positive pin is connected to 5 volt with a 820 ohm series resistor and the disable LED is connected to the pin number 13 and the status LED is connected to the pin number 9 of Arduino Nano. The status LED will show the uh, status of the motor that the motor is running or not. For display purpose, as I use a 16 plus 2 LCD display with a I2C driver, so we need 4 pins to connect with the Arduino Nano. The ground pin is connected to the ground of Arduino Nano. This is the pin is connected to 5, 5 volt pin and the SDA pin is connected to A4 and SCL pin is connected to A5 because A4 and A5 is dedicatedly used for I square C communication in case of Arduino Nano and Arduino Nano. And as always you will find the circuit diagram, uh, code and many other necessary things in the description below. And now it is the time for shouldering.
After shouldering, I fix the stepper motor driver and my Arduino Nano controller inside this box and our stepper motor controller is ready. Let's see this thing in action. Here is the rotary encoder by which you can give the input for the motor RPM direction and how much the motor will rotate in 100 degree, 90 degree or 360 degree. And for starting the motor, just push the start button and the motor will start to rotate. And if you want to rotate the motor shaft by your hand to set a position, then you have to press the disable switch to rotate the stripper motor shaft by your hand. And for stopping this motor, press the stop switch. If you like this video and learned something from this video about stepper motor and how to drive a stepper motor then make sure you hit the like button and share this video with your friends and my social media handles are given in the description if you want you can follow me over there and if you are new to this channel or seeing me for the first time then what are you doing go and subscribe now and press the bell icon for further notifications and the most important thing be creative. Thank you.